then get it written by not, I would advise, but not by a family member, but by a non-family member who, who holds a senior managerial position and who knows you. In case the only family member, in case you do not have that opportunity, then you are in a pickle. Because then it is a really small two-man or three-man family business. Okay. Uh, secondly, try to go back in that case to your undergraduate tutors. Okay. Say, um, you know, this is the problem that I'm having. I know you've taught me sometime in the past. These are my academic transcripts. Try to relate with them, maybe some experience that you've had with them, so that they can have that recall. You know, that can really help. Okay. Last but not the least, okay, if none of these two sources are working for you, in your day-to-day -day environment, you know, if you're working for a family business, you'll be interacting with others from the industry. It could be your upstream suppliers, your downstream suppliers, your customers. If you have a special rapport with them, try to bring them into the fold. Okay? And also speak to your admissions team. Sound them out. Say, I'm having this problem. So, for example, I might tell you, okay, I will accept three letters of recommendation. You are a special case. So stuff like that. Okay? Remember, we, we are interested in people telling honestly about you, about your own about you as a candidate. Okay. So and we are willing to take more uh, letter of recommendations to help you solve your problem. But I do realize, you know, there are a lot of people who have a lot who have family run businesses in India. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just a final question, um, and, and this is one question that I actually don't mind the schools talking about their school level because I think it's quite important. And I know there's a lot of questions from the audience. It's about financing your studies and scholarships in particular. Um, I'll mention the, about the QS scholarships just before we leave. But uh, yeah, if the schools can just talk about financing, maybe professor we'll give a little more of a local perspective and, and what banks can offer here. But each school, I'm more than happy for you to tell um, the audience about the scholarships you may offer and, and the best way to go about um, applying for any funding, um, be it your scholarships or outside of that as well. Um, Tess, you can start us off. Um, as I said, not, I, I know more about Europe and especially France. Um, I'm not sure about how it goes in, uh, in the US or some other places. Um, but you need to know, uh, um, in most of the European business school, not they do offer scholarship. So you have to apply for one if you wish a scholarship. And if you don't apply, you will never get it. No? <laughs> um, and otherwise, in terms of loan, uh, for example, in France, uh, I have to say it is quite difficult to get a, a student loan from a local bank in France if you do not have a French, uh, res uh, French guarantor, a French co-signer. So this is one of the restrictions. You know? But if you do know someone uh, who accepts co sign a loan, it, it could be very, very interesting. For example, last year, you know, the local banks were uh, giving um, uh, loans at uh, less than 2.3% per year, so very interesting. Um, otherwise, uh, you can also look at the scholarship from uh, the local government. For example, the French government are also giving up some uh, different scholarship that you have to apply early. So that make sure to get all those information and, and try to apply early. Of course, now we do have some requirements, you know, in terms of uh, GMAT and, and profile and also uh, the, the, from which country you are coming from, etc. So, be sure to look at all that in order, in order to know um, um, the, finance, the finance option you have. There are a lot of ways through which you can organize the funding. Yeah. First of all, you have to calculate the total cost. And then you have to really break down this cost, uh, how you are going to really support. So probably the first place to start with your home and your own savings. If you are working for say 5 or 10 years, you must be having some, some kind of savings. Go and discuss, show your salary slip to the bank manager and try to apply for the study loan. But don't apply for the 100% study loan. So part of the study should be uh, covered by your savings. Part of the study should be covered by the study loan. And then identify what kind of scholarships and funding schemes different schools have. Right? Uh, either through scholarship or through work assistantship or through research assistantship. Apart from that, there are a lot of trusts available in India, those who offer the scholarships, study scholarships. Uh, British Union offer the scholarship. So you, you have to really go find out, do research, spend three, four months, especially on funding part. In the United States, it is very common 
for us to award scholarships on merit. You don't have to apply for them. They're just offered when your acceptance letter comes in. That being the case, and this is very common, as I said, at most schools, apply to lots of schools. See who offers you what. Um, this is a terrible thing to say. There are people who will shoot me, but the cost of tuition that you're going to read on websites is just a number. I can't tell a student what it's going to cost them when they apply. I'm sorry, I wish I could. But as I said, if they have applied to a number of schools, then when their acceptances come back, they will be given a number of offers and scholarships and assistantships as well, which are, I think, <coughs> even better. They um, give you the experience. They give you a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the professor, all kinds of good stuff. Um, but don't, don't focus solely on the number you see on the website, because it really can be just a number. <coughs> Uh, speaking about the UK, most business schools, apart from the London Business School, will offer you a number of small scholarships. Even we do that, 750 pounds off, 1,000 pounds off, depending upon you know, if you're able to show merit in your, in your application. But these will only amount to roughly 10% of the total tuition fees that we're asking. What we offer is only one scholarship, which is a 50% fee waiver. Highly competitive, but specific to Indian students. So, and your chances are pretty good because you know we're talking about one of maximum one out of ten, actually one out of eight based on last year's experience. Okay. But again, in the, specific to the UK, you'll not get more than ten percent of your fees waived off unless you win a big scholarship. So there's a difference between the term scholarship and a bursary. You know, and carefully look for that. Most of the smaller amounts that you see in the UK, you know, to put it bluntly, they are enticements. Look for something substantial, 50% waiver, something as substantial as that. But they are going to be extremely competitive and extremely hard fought for. Okay. Thank you. Nelson, anything to say? Yes, that I fully agree with the previous speaker uh, that uh, in Australia, the case is that you need to apply for scholarships. Uh, it's very difficult to get a full, fully funded scholarship uh, for your study. Uh, in our case, we have maximum 25% scholarship and very limited number, highly competitive. And remember that you are competing with other students coming from different background and different programs because business school, they have programs, not only MBA, other master's programs. So basically, uh, the news is not that good. Thank you very much. I'll just quickly touch upon the QR scholarship because I've got so many people here saying we have to answer it in the BJA um, inside. QS, I mean, if you've got the floor plan, you'll see at the bottom that mentions the QS scholarships that are offered. Um, now that you've attended a fair, within a week or so, you'll receive an email um, explaining how to apply for one of the scholarships. Like Ashish said, you know, some, some of them are full scholarships, some of them are what you would call bursaries and will help um, the fund. It is extremely competitive, um, but you will receive information um, within a week, and uh, a lot of, most of the, uh, the scholarships are essay based. I don't have time for questions um, just now, but you have three hours in the main room from six to nine um, to ask questions individually um, to schools. There will be another seminar in here at 